Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. When Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology first came out, there was a glaring omission, some argued. Sheet metal modeling wasn't available. But in the last version, version 2 that is, Siemens managed to add a robust sheet metal modeling environment. So let's take a look at that. The easiest way to create a piece of sheet metal to me is to draw a 2D profile representing the side view of the sheet metal structure that you'd like, then add thickness and width to it. So here's how you would do it in Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 2. The little icon that looks like a notepad that you see here, well that lets you specify the band radius, thickness, offset and the rest before you convert your profile into a banded sheet metal. Once that's done, you simply drag the handle to create your sheet metal piece. Now if you need to create a tab, you can draw a profile on a surface, then simply click this pull handle here. The software knows that, based on what you have just drawn, the most sensible thing to do is to create a tab with the same thickness on that surface that you have selected. So that's what you've got. You might notice that I didn't bother specifying the size of the tab or its distance from the other edges. Well, that's because I know I can just draw the tab at random, then adjust its dimensions and distance afterwards, like this. If you need to create additional flanges, all you have to do is select an edge, then start dragging in the direction you want the flange to go. Now, this floating toolbar, which you get most of the time when you select a tool, that gives you the option to say, how you want the flange to bend, specifically whether to bend from the inside surface or the outside surface. And if you do need to adjust the radius of the band after the fact, you can simply double click on the curve, then type in the new value. With sheet metal, quite often, when you do stress analysis, you turn it into a 2D surface because that's the best way to see load distribution. To do that, you can use this mid-plane surface creation command here. Well, now that we have a mid-plane surface ready to go, we can simply go ahead and start a simulation session here. So I'm going to apply load, material, define the geometry, well, it looks like everything is in order now, so we simply have to mesh it and then solve it. Now here are the simulation results. It's relatively easy to modify your design if the analysis results suggest you should, so you can simply go back to your design, rotate your flanges, thicken areas, and do what you need to do to add strength to this part. Finally, if you're happy with your design and you want to cut, you go to Tools, select Flatten Pattern, then create the 2D profile that you will need to cut that piece of sheet metal. This is the third in the series about Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 2. Earlier ones can be found at Virtual Desktop Block, Look for posts that are tagged Solid Edge or Siemens PLM. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, cutting into heavy metal.